Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. And on this week, uh, I wanted to talk about two pieces of news that uh, I found were something that was worth talking about. So the first being is the iPhone 7, okay, and the iPhone 7 Plus. You know, if you look on YouTube right now, there are a, a ton of videos on the actual uh, models of the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus. And so this is pretty much what most people believe is going to be uh, the final version of these two phones that are going to be coming out. So in terms of the actual rumored specs, you know, it's rumored that uh, the iPhone 7, which is the quote unquote regular one, it's going to be running a, a 4.7 inch screen, uh, which is finally going to be 1080p. Amazing. Um, and also it will have a larger camera on the back as you could see here by the schematics. And um, the antenna bands are going to be at the bottom. And also, um, both the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus, they are not going to have a headphone jack, as uh, been long rumored. And um, also, they are most likely going to come with the new uh, A10 chip. And here's the iPhone uh, 7 Plus. And so, you know, I think more or less um, usually as usually how it goes with iPhones, um, you know, they're playing catch up in terms of the actual hardware specs themselves. And um, as I've stated in my other video about, you know, specs versus software, Apple is one of the few companies that really do not need to focus on hardware specs. You know, as I stated in that video, I think their software works excellent and um, it actually doesn't require a lot of really powerful hardware and at the same time they optimize a lot of things. Now because iPhone is finally uh, going to be using really uh, high res screens like Android phones, they're going to need more horsepower, not just the A10 chip but also more RAM. So more than likely the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus is actually going to have 3 gigs of RAM and there's also an iPhone 7 Pro as well. And um, overall, I really think this is, you know, a lot of people are stating that it's a boring phone. And, you know, for the most part, uh, Apple doesn't really do anything different. Um, you know, not every single year, they really don't change much in terms of the design. Um, because number one, they don't need to. And number two, you know, if you're constantly changing the design, it, it costs, that takes time, you know, it costs a lot of money. And on top of it, it might alienate people as well. And so um, that's why a lot of the design is uh, very similar. So it doesn't look uh, too much different uh, from what we already see with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6S. Now, me personally, um, you know, as with most new smartphones, I'm not too excited with it, you know. And for the most part, most of the iPhones, I'm really not excited because they don't really... To me, they don't really do too many things that are different. And they don't really push the envelope too much in terms of like doing something different, you know, pushing things forward, you know, because like I said, you know, they don't really have to, you know. And so although a lot of these people who really love Apple products, I could understand why they do. But just being like a geek, you know, um, I, I really like to see things that are pushing the envelope, things that are trying something new. And, you know, if you have an iPhone, that's usually not going to be the phone that tries to push the envelope. However, what you can almost always expect with an Apple iPhone is the fact that it is going to be built very well, very high quality for the most part. And also the software is going to be extremely optimized. And so it's going to perform really, really well. So um, those are my thoughts on the iPhone 7 up to this point. Um, you know, once it is does gets released on September 16th, we'll see what happens there. But as usual, I think they're going to sell a ton of them. However, you know, year after year, they're selling less. Um, you know, there's less lines and the competition keeps getting greater. So we're going to have to see what Apple is going to do on their iPhone 8s and so forth to really, once again, you know, become a leader in terms of innovating and pushing things forward. So in terms of innovation, I wanted to talk about something that I thought was really, really cool. If you haven't seen this, uh, there's a GoldenEye Source 5.0 video. And what it is, is it's basically an HD uh, remake 
of uh, GoldenEye, the very beloved uh, N64 game made by Rare. And uh, man, this thing looks super sweet, you know. So, and the reason why it's called Source 5.0 is because, you know, it's based on the uh, Valve, uh, Valve's 3D engine. So, the Source engine. And um, this is not something that's new. They've been doing this GoldenEye thing, I think, for about three years now. And it just looks so awesome, you know. And the most awesome part of it is, you know, it is going to be free. Um, you could actually go here to their main site. Um, this is the site right here. And you could actually download this to your PC. And um, it's got everything that you would need. And on top of it, the actual user requirements are really, really low. You know, and as a matter of fact, I think it was intended to even run on a Windows XP machine, which is pretty amazing. You know, I mean, granted, you know, the original GoldenEye, if you look back, you know, a lot of the hardware today could run that easily. But this is an upgraded version, so it's amazing that they were able to get it to run on such low specs. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. You know, unfortunately, um, I don't have a Windows PC, so um, I don't think this is available on uh, Linux. I don't, I, I really don't think it is, unfortunately. But if it is, um, I'm gonna try it out uh, because this looks really cool. Now, this doesn't have single player; it's a multiplayer only uh, game. But I think it's really well worth it because uh, I really did enjoy the uh, GoldenEye in the 64, as many people did. And the multiplayer was what really, really uh, stuck out on that game. So that's basically it for uh, some news that I thought, you know, was worth talking about this week. If you had any ideas or any comments on either the iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 7 Pro, or this brand new HD remake uh, of GoldenEye, leave your comments below. And as always, I am on Snapchat at Geek Outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.